Shanghai Composite Index failing to hold on to the rally that it's had over the last three sessions. It did close slightly off, uh, down uh, more than a percent on Tuesday. Now, keep in mind that after that came around, after hundreds of shares that had been suspended from trading did go back into the market. And the recent sell-off in China's stock market is being watched around the world. And that includes tech companies in Silicon Valley. But as CCTV's Mark New reports, even though anxiety has grown amongst some investors, most insiders do feel that the fears are overblown. Can see the heart rate yeah. is there. Yeah. U.S. China incubator InnoSpring helps startups get off the ground, like Teapot Tech, which is developing a sensor that monitors breathing without even touching the skin. The CEO Charlie Zhang has several other companies that manufacture the baby goods in China, which is why he's been inundated with messages from U.S. partners asking if everything is okay. They're worried that there might be a stoppage, there might be a uh, lack of capital, uh, a breakdown in the entire economy. If they don't understand the Chinese economy. It doesn't work that way. On the supply side, it's still healthy. Just down the hallway, the startup Gliding Eagle has developed a cloud-based platform that helps ship and track high-quality U.S. products like food and vitamins to China within eight days. CEO Jack Dwan has been fielding questions from U.S. investors about whether the China stock market crash will lead to less purchases from Chinese consumers. I still have faith that as long as the job market is good, the GDP is growing, and people continue to spend, especially for health-related products, and that's what we're specializing. InnoSpring CEO Wang Xiao says roughly 70 percent of its funding comes from China. She believes the stock market slide could draw more Chinese investors to venture capital. The stock market is going to slow down and stabilize as China become a mature economy. So we actually see folks who would diversify a little bit and perhaps invest outside of stock market and outside of China as well. So actually only is going to be good for us and good for the um, great private small startups. Glenn Solomon is managing partner at GGV Capital, which has invested in Chinese companies such as Alibaba and travel platform Chunar. There have been some VCs who've lightened their activity in China already, and I expect to see more of that. I would contrast that with companies. Companies in the U.S. who have global ambition are going to continue to prioritize China very highly. And I think you'll see more and more of the prominent Silicon Valley startups think about China earlier in their development. As evidence of the growing convergence between Silicon Valley and China, Solomon points to Apple, which recently revealed that China had surpassed the U.S. as its top iPhone market. And in a leaked email, Uber CEO Travis Kalanick recently said he expects China to become its top market by the end of the year. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.